Hello and welcome back. Now we'll be discussing write a program in C++ to read a set of numbers from the keyboard and to find out the largest number in the given array. Uh, this question was also asked in March 2010. Now if you will observe that uh, they are talking about an array but they haven't specified the set of numbers. They haven't specified the exact number of digits they want to use in an array. They want to read in an array. So in this situation, always try to read and specify the number of size in an array as 10. It is convenient and it will be easy for you to manage. So let me start a program by declaring an array of size 10. Now 10 will be acting like a set for us in, the, in this program. Now we are supposed to find out the largest number from the given array. Uh, again, as usual, I don't know the number of variables and the type of the variables that I'll be needing. So I will just start writing the program. Enter. Uh, array elements. Uh, now to read array elements, we always need a loop. Array always comes with the loop. Okay, always remember that. So for loop, I have to declare a variable. Again, the array starts with zero. So for i equals to zero, i less than equal to nine because the size is ten, and i plus plus. Here I'll be needing a variable i. Okay, now c in a of i. Perfect. Now, now the next step will be to read. Next step will be to display the largest array, but before that, we'll be needing a variable which will store the initial value of an array. So, suppose the largest. Suppose largest is L and uh, largest variable is L and L is storing the first element of an array that is A of 0. Okay. Now again we will execute a loop for i equals to 1 this time because we are storing the va uh, variable 0 that is position 0 uh, with the value at the position 0 in uh, variable i uh, L. So we will just start the array with 1. So less than equal to 9 and uh, i plus plus. The logic will be very simple. We will be just comparing the L which with each and every element of an array. If L is less than a of i, then uh, I will replace the value of L with a of i. Okay, so here the logic is very simple. First, we are storing the first uh, initial value of an array in L. L is storing the largest number in the given array. Then we are executing the loop from for i equals to 1, that is i less than equal to 9 and i plus plus. Then we are comparing uh, that uh, a of i is greater than L. That means we are checking whether any element in an array is greater than L. If it is greater than L, then we will be storing that particular element in L. Next, we will be displaying the largest value in the given array is C of L. Okay, let me execute this program. Okay, now since we have declared array of that size 10, I have to enter 10 values. So I'll be entering 10 random numbers. Perfect. So these are the 10 numbers that I have entered and the largest number in the given array is 78 as you can see. The output is perfect. So always remember that in the board exam if they haven't specified the size of an array like uh, here they have said that you are supposed to read a set of numbers they haven't specified the exact set in that case you can take the set as 5 10 uh, t 5 10 uh, depending upon uh, your requirement thank you and if you have any other question uh, you can please place a question in the comment i will be trying to answer that question as soon as possible uh, thank you for listening and have a great day